Okay. Hello. Hello, people. Welcome to Kenny Ball and Plays. I'm new to the game. Name be Kenny Ball. Never mind. Cut it. All right. Hello, people. Welcome to Kenny Ball and Plays. New to the game. Name be Kenny Ball. And I just wanted to start this game off this way because we're not returning to Fall Guys because it is a hellish landscape. I do not believe in anymore. I renounce it entirely and we will be diving into an alternate dimension. Please. Hey Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going. We don't need roads. <laughs> All right, it's about time that I started this. <laughs> Toys for Bob has come so far. They reignited the Spyro trilogy and that was really fun to play for a week. Beanox I know only did the new Crush Racing remake. I think Toys for Bob might have done the Madagascar games, so I feel like I have to play all the Toys for Bob games now. This game saves automatically. That's beautiful. Do not turn off the game. Well, now I'll never know. As you can read, I need to press X to start, but let me welcome you all to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time, because it is about time that I finally... Play some Crush Bandicoot on you. I wanted to open with this because this is one of my new favorite games. Uh, for those of those, for those of you who do know, I have a small list of favorite games because I love almost every game. But I have a top three. I will not be going into that top three because I will be playing them eventually and want to do that at my own pace. But I think there was a number four position, and I'll play that definitely on the channel. Mm -hmm. It's just going to take a while because it's one of the consoles I really don't use much. But this has now become number four, I believe. It is my number four as of right now, either number four or number five favorite game of all time. I do believe they outshined the Insane Trilogy just a bit by continuing the legacy and adding to it without making it the Wrath of Cortex. And I also I will go over the Insane Trilogy and probably play the originals eventually because I have the original Crash Bandicoot on the original PlayStation. I do own both of those. Uh, I don't know when I'll do those though, but the Insane Trilogy will come. And all my other favorite games will come right after this one. But before the mind boggling erases your brain completely with this long intro, you can now say it's about time. I'll let that set in because I never paid attention to the soundtrack. Hi, this is my best Matt Watson scream. <laughs> That's running music. Look at this little band of coot feet go. You can just picture it. Okay, we're not going to continue because I actually have to start a new one. There's my actual save right there. I'm only 50%, 57% done and it's already been a hassle. So I will not be going for 100%, definitely not 106% on this channel. I'm just going to breeze through it, honestly. I don't even know if I'll go for all the less than three. I'm just going to try my best. But we'll see how that goes. So, we are KB. What's the third option? Is there an option to not put anything? I'm gonna assume it's that. 
Okay, so when it comes to selecting a playstyle, there's the option of modern. When you die, you always continue from the last checkpoint recommended. Retro, you have limited lives, run out, and you must restart the level. I like to go retro because I love building up lives in a Crash Bandicoot game. It's really fun. And in my playthrough, I went from 99 at the middle to ending the game with three lives, even though I beat the boss with four lives, but I think I died as I won. So that was an amazing, weird thing to see in this game. This game does have weirdness, but it's all welcome. So let's go retro because I believe it's the correct way to play. But modern is definitely helpful when you're trying to complete the game. I will give it that. This game is amazing for its uh, consistencies and uh, giving options to players. Oh, I also need to make sure about gameplay. Retro, time trial. Yeah, enhanced shadows because I have very bad depth perception in every Crash Bandicoot game. It's not even just this one. This one apparently has the worst depth perception though. So I definitely need it here. But even Insane Trilogy was terrible. Even the original. I just can't see the floors ever and line them up. So let's watch this. It's going to be beautiful. I guarantee. Crash Bandicoot. At last, I, the great Neocortex, have you right where I want you. And now, the final blow! Hush, simpleton. Look at that strong boy. Face it, Entropy. It's going to fail. Again! At least Uka Uka and I Cortex. attempt to free us from this prison. I won't sit idly by and listen to your inane ramblings for another decade. Is he dead? Leave him. He served his purpose. <laughs> Welcome to the game. A great power has awoken. Crash? I fear it portends an event of reality shattering proportions. I feel it emanating from insanity peak. Quickly, we must go! Crash! 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 Yeah, <laughs> good. So now we're in the game, and I can finally voice my opinions, being that I love the intro, I love this game entirely, and that I really love that they pick up where 3 left off, because 3 is a really good game, Crash Bandicoot Warped is good, but, um, yeah, it's just unfinished, and they didn't use Entropy enough, when Entropy is actually a really good villain, and Cortex really shines in that one as well. That's where he's half goofy, half serious, even even still having it that in the original being voiced by Clancy Brown and Lex Lang brought some good in the remake. And I, I, I like both Cortexes, honestly. I think he's just a great character all around because he can be very sinister and silly. And you can decide how you want him to be, honestly, in everyone's depiction. But Entropy was underused in 3. Uh, good villain, though. Definitely. One of the best. Um, and they really let him shine in this one. They let everyone shine. Just the way 3 let everyone shine. Except they give Uga Uga the backseat. And I'm really fine with that because he outshines in 3. Took up too much spotlight, unfortunately. But uh, I wish they used Uga Uga a little more. But I know they're revving up for something, I think. Because I think there's something in the secret ending about Uka Uka. So that's perfectly fine then. And I love Aku Aku. I think he's one of the greatest sidekicks slash armor of all time. 
Uh, Mel Winkler obviously is Aku Aku and will always be the greatest and they even put a little tribute in here for him and that's beautiful itself. I like Greg Eagles because I grew up with Grim Richard and Billy Mandy so I don't mind the Grim Reaper being the voice of uh, Aku Aku. Ironic and funny. And let's actually just play this game now. Because I have a lot of opinions and I stalled some of the beginning of the level just voicing those opinions. Oh yeah, Richard Horvitz is in this. I don't know, that volcano just made me think of him. Oh, it's Richard Horvitz. He just looks like a little shrub goblin. No, that's very rude of me to say. He's a beautiful man. Saw him at a convention once. Well, I mean, like, I met him at a convention because I wanted him to sign an Invader Zim comic. And he did. The character. It was very beautiful. Very touching. Let's get more Aku Aku statues. Statues, masks, my bad. Condemn me for that. I like the little enemies they have in this game. They're on brand. They're a little abnormal, but nothing out of the ordinary for Crash. Oh, I don't have the triple spin yet, do I? Oh, I almost missed the mystery thing. Y'all would have killed me for that. See, Crash is simple. He just spins and jumps and belly flops. I forget when they added. Is the belly flop added in Cortex Strikes Back? I didn't even check if I got all the boxes. I should have. Oh, there we go. The Aku Aku run. The infamous. What the? Oh yeah. I forgot I was invincible for a second. I never was a fan of that aspect of Aku Aku that you can stand on the boxes for a um, second and then they explode underneath as he's walking. It's just weird to the momentum of the game. It's perfectly fine because that's all crashes is always learning the speed and momentum. Yeah, because with the first game it has a completely different momentum than Insane Trilogy. Because I played Insane Trilogy first. I didn't grow up with Crash. I got into it when the Insane Trilogy came out. And it's the only reason I got a PS4 right before it came to every system. Which I knew it was going to. And people said it was crazy. Oh, I got all the boxes. Uh, okay, I guess let's just see how I did. Oh, I was like, can I get the Insanely Perfect Relic already? Apparently I can. Ooh, let's use the chicken soup. What was I talking about? Crash. Something. Oh yeah, I didn't grow up with it, but I started with Insane Trilogy and then went out and bought a PS1 and then the PS1 version of Crash Bandicoot, which is one of my favorite games. It's just amazing. And I did 100% complete that one. And I think I 100%ed the Insane Trilogy remake uh, 1 and 2. Didn't, didn't get the ending to 3. Just because I'm not good at time trials. I hate time trials. That's the worst thing uh, in Crash Bandicoot for me. Just not a very fast person, unfortunately. There we go. First death of the playthrough. That was me not paying attention to in-depth perception. Let's just be honest. I'm gonna call this game cheating. I hope I remember what pattern it is for the gem, because I'm not gonna pick up all the gems. I'm not doing an all-boxes run. Can't get me to. Can't make me. Let's get some fruit, though. Become a strong, healthy bandicoot soldier. Still amazing this game is, a. Uh, based on the idea that he was supposed to be a soldier for Cortex, and then he rebels because he's just stupid. It's not even our rebellion, he's just too stupid and kind. Big lug. That's Crash Bandicoot. 
So is he a himbo? I think he's a himbo. I need to add him to the himbo tribute. I need a himbo. Holding out for himbo to the end of the night. He's gotta be crashing, he's gotta be something, and he's gotta be larger than life. Wait, that's the Backstreet Boys, I don't know. Oh wait, I'm thinking Joy Fatone from NSYNC, because I'm like, one of them was larger than life, actually. Nope, wrong band. Double jump. I already know the basics, I'm not a noob. Let's just wait for it to blow up. I get very anxious about certain things when I don't see them happen. Just start spazzing. My brain starts twitching. My wrist starts itching. The rain starts in the kitchen. Yeah, saved it. I just like to do everything preemptively. I already know the pattern, but let me take another look at it. Oh yeah, I have to enter. From here. Okay, I always have to remember to enter from that side. Is there a little musical cue? Never noticed that before. Oh, it's to confirm. Okay, yeah, next time I should just go for the gem. Do I have to do it again? Yeah, I'll do it again. That was my bad, people. Let's not blame any depth perception. I didn't know there was an audio cue for the gym. It's really distracting. Guess my TV never picks it up. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. So I can't even jump on the boxes. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up the gem. This is so stressful, I hate the timing on this. God, I hate this. I think he's my least favorite mask just because of the power is kind of just so time sensitive. That gets me confused a lot of the time. Let's listen to him. Let's listen to Richard Horvitz. It's Invader Zim. He's gonna save the day. He says, you're so stupid. That's all I know he says in this game. Unbelievably stupid. Ooh, it's the spirit monster. I like the design of that, even though it has nothing to do with the game. I mean, this is its own little isolated insanity island, I guess. I love these chase sequences. I love they brought it back. I love that they also brought back the Wrath of Cortex ball for one of the engine uh, races like this. I don't know what you call this. Is this a race? It's a runaway scene. I don't know what these are called. These levels and crash are called. Ooh, and I'm being birthed out the gooch. Crash, 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 bandigooch. So crash, look at Crash with his little paints. His little crotch dance. Oh. Did they remove them in the games? I don't think so, but. They downplayed it. Did I? I swear, I thought I made that. I was, I was gonna be upset that I made it, but they didn't let me. So I'm proud. Proud of the game designers for letting me feel like you're gonna win. Just like real life. Just like capitalism. Oh yeah, I think you only have to grab the secret gem once, and then it's like saved. There we go. I hate those moments where I think I'm really holding out for the all boxes gem to only not get it. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up here. I'll catch you in the next one, okay? Have a good drive. I'll see you around, maybe. Take care now.